Hello and welcome back to Automate with Amit and in this particular video we are going to cover what are cucumber hooks and how we can use that in our cucumber BDD framework. If you have followed my previous videos then I am covering all the framework from scratch. So previous video I had created related to the cucumber test runners so and uh, this particular video is for cucumber hooks. Let's go back to the screen and see what we have covered so far. Okay, so if you remember, I have created this particular framework, automation framework basically. So this was IRCTC automation. And in here, I had created all the structures so far and uh, constant score, helpers, listeners, and so many things. And previous video, we had created what our test runner in Cucumber BDD framework and these are the files feature files and in this one feature file i had written one scenario in fact two scenarios so these are two scenarios over here and for that i had written this step definition and this was the test runner which i had covered in previous video so if you haven't watched that video please go and watch that video after you complete this one. So what are Cucumber hooks basically? So hooks basically are the piece of code which can be placed before or after the scenario and they can be used to create some data. They can be used to um, initialize the web driver. They can be used to uh, write any particular uh, data connection or browser cookies setting up or, and navigating to certain pages. So those kind of activities we can do using before and after uh, hooks. Okay. So basically before hooks are used to give any prerequisite before running our scenarios. After hooks basically used for maybe, you know, uh, killing web driver, closing DB connections, clearing the test data, clearing the browser cookies and all of those kind of activities we do using um, after hooks okay so how to use that let's go back and in here um, in the code basically if you see uh, this is runner so for hooks let me create a different package altogether and here under source test java um, so let me create that in here under source main java right click new so let me create under this runner new package Okay, so I'm not going to create this runner and IRCTC dot hooks. Okay, finish. So this way I have created this hooks package. I'm going to delete this one, this file. It is of no use, just package information. And now I am going to create one class file and this class file name is hooks. Okay. So this is hooks class and I'm clicking on finish. Once I clicked on finish, this hooks class gets created. Okay. Now, first and foremost thing is how my runner class is going to identify that this is hook. Basically, if uh, how to write before and after hook, let me write that first. Then we will see how my runner class is going to identify whether this is a hook or not. Okay. So to create before and after hook, uh, we create simple method. So public void some setup. So this is setup method I have created. This setup method is going to get executed every time one new scenario is going to execute. Okay. So I am putting this before here. Okay. So this before attribute basically shows you see, you have to import this from import before cucumber.java. Okay. And once you import this, you see it got imported from cucumber Java before. Likewise, we can create one more method public void tear down. Okay. So tear down basically means this particular method is going to get executed after we create everything or my complete test scenario gets executed, then only it is going to get executed. I want that. I want this particular tear down method to get executed after my scenario. Okay. So I'm just 
importing that from cucumber java before and after okay now i can write whatever code i wanted to execute before my scenario gets executed so let's see in the feature file over here what could be the potentially you know uh, potentially code which which i uh, i would want to execute at first or before my scenario okay so if you see over here these two scenarios are here right so user navigates to irctc url this and here also it says that user in, uh, navigates to irctc url something like this okay now you tell me this is code duplicacy right and we don't want or we want we always try to avoid code duplicacy okay so for that matter we need to use somehow we need to reduce this code duplicacy right so in this way we want and you see these two features or a feature scenarios basically are using same line so how about if we put and this is executing each time one scenario is getting executed so we can put that in before hook okay so this line can be put in or whatever this line is doing can be put in before hook and likewise if you see over here we are we need to click the or we need to close the browser also right once my whole scenario gets executed i want to close the browser right and before navigating on this maybe you know i want to execute i want to invoke the browser so that invocation part we can put under before hook and closing that driver part we can put under tear down part okay so that is the place where hook is required and hook is useful to reduce the code duplicacy okay and there are two types of hooks before and after hooks in cucumber okay so this before and second one is before all okay so before all and before you see this is before basically used execute method so before each scenario okay so if we are using before then it is going to execute before each scenario so whatever number of scenario i have in this feature file is going to execute if we use this at the rate before and what about before all so before all basically is used i'll just show you here okay so before all basically is used execute a method before all the scenarios okay so there is a slight difference basically let's go with at the rate before only okay and likewise this after also is used okay so this after at the rate after is also going to get executed after each scenario okay so now let's write down one code and let's see if it executes okay so here i am writing this web driver driver here equal to null right now we are just writing one line of code just to showcase how co hooks work so now driver equals new chrome driver and this is going to open my browser chrome browser okay so now i am just importing this chrome driver and once my test is executed i wanted to close it right so i have closed it and after that so each scenario before each scenario this is going to execute and after that these line of code will get executed okay now one last thing which is here now how my test runner is going to identify whether this is hook where uh, you know you have to uh, execute that part of code before each scenario gets executed so in that case you have to provide the location of hooks okay so here uh, this is hooks here com dot a w a so this is com dot a w a i r c t c hook okay so i'm just giving that name hooks okay so here is my here are my hooks and that's it now if i run this 
right click and run as and test ng test so let me re-execute this run as and test ng test and now i'm going to get some issues but those are not related to the cucumber hooks so let's see if this executes okay so this one failure is there because of uh, some other issue but let's see okay so here uh, if you see uh, it got executed okay let me write some line of code over here okay so once this is done let me write here sys out so that we can know whether this got executed properly or not so before setup or setup get executed okay and in here in this tear down gets tear down gets executed okay so now let's run this and see now whether that got executed or not we'll see how and what is the issue because of which we are getting that here i'll create a separate video on that how to resolve that one that issue okay so let me go on test runner now right click and run as right click and run as test ng test okay so see setup gets executed first and then other part of code is going to get executed user got navigated to irctc url and then okay let's see what is what are the setup gets executed user got navigated to irctc url user enter text 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 and then tear down gets executed and before second scenario got executed we see setup gets executed for the second one and then at the last we will see this tear down gets executed okay although we are getting this issue uh, which is not related to uh, uh, this case of hooks but this is how hooks works okay so that was all in this particular video where i explained what are hooks and how you can use in cucumber bdd framework okay and i have created uh, other videos related to cucumber bdd framework where i am creating framework automation framework from scratch so you can go and watch the previous videos where i had explained test runners test uh, step definitions and feature files if you are liking this particular video series then make sure you like the video and comment that you are liking that gives me uh, complete motivation to uh, do more and give better videos uh, please if you are liking this video subscribe to the channel i am going to bring so many other videos which are going to be very very useful and you can also suggest me what different types of videos you wanted to see which are not available on other youtube channels okay so i am going to bring the those uh, videos on my channel okay so thank you thanks for your love and support bye bye and see you in the next one